You know, one of the great things we need in global evangelicalism is what I would call evangelical statesmen or stateswomen. And the two cardinal marks of a, an evangelical statesman or stateswoman are first, it's very difficult to get them to talk about themselves. Um, they're usually focusing on the advance of the gospel through other men and women. So you can be talking with them for 15, 20 minutes, and they're saying, have you, are you, have you seen how God is using him? Or how he, he's using her? Isn't it wonderful? And they might come from a completely different church background. But their joy comes from the advance of the gospel, no matter whom God is using, uh, whatever their ecclesiological background. And after 15, 20 minutes, you have to say to them, thank you for sharing what excites you about these other people's ministry. Could you just tell me again what you're doing? Because I don't think I've heard you say anything about your own ministry. So they are people who esteem others as better than themselves, firstly, which is totally countercultural. And secondly, they're interested most of all in the advance of the gospel, not most of all in their own ministry or their own agency. In my own case, I work with IFES, but my primary concern is not the advance of the organization of IFES, it's the advance of the gospel. And I'm linked up with IFES simply because it's the best means I can find to fulfill, it, fulfill the vision which God gave me of advancing his name in the student world. And I think that's how it should be. If we are jealous, however, it's usually because we're looking at the ministry of others, seeing them perhaps advance. And we're jealous that theirs adva is advancing and maybe ours is not. That's not how it should be. It also shows perhaps an obsession with numbers. And in my experience, some of the most spiritually strong movements or work I've ever seen are through small groups of people who are tightly knit together. Again, in the evangelical world, we tend to judge growth in terms of numerical growth. But that's the story of Gideon is countercultural in the Old Testament, where God says that too many people here for a war, cut the number down to 300. Sometimes pruning and working with short numbers is more effective in the long term. So jealousy betrays a wrong focus on our vision and objectives in life, which for the Bible-believing Christian must be paramountly focused on the advance of the gospel through any means possible, male or female, and any denomination.